And then you go on to describe this thing where he says that he tells you that he thought he would wound some, but didn't know he would kill, correct? Yes. Now I get that that's December 19th, 2012. That's your first time with him. But that must have struck you as completely inconsistent with every other document you'd received leading up to July 20th, 2012, correct? Yes. And you, before you issue this opinion, saying that he is insane and schizophrenic, you do not confront him with those inconsistencies. Correct? I did discuss with him, and you will say it's not in my report, <laughs> what does he mean that he was going to wound people and not to kill them. You asked him that? Yeah. But we didn't even hear that on direct exam. Tell us. I mean, this will be the first time anyone's heard it, right? That he did say wounded people. I mean, what, if you read the, uh, the, the entire sentence, is that if he, liked, um, he thought he would wound some, but didn't know who he'd kill. Yeah. And my conclusion from follow-up with him was that he, he, find, he found it difficult to tell me that he came into the theater to shoot and kill people during the first evaluation. He tried to look good. So my conclusion was that he came to kill, to pre prepared himself to kill people. And that saying, you know, I came to wound people was perhaps his effort to look good. He tried to look his best during the first evaluation. So is it fair to say that despite the battery of tests and stuff that uh, Dr. Hanlon gave him and Drs. Gray and Manguso and all that, the defendant, when he spoke with you and other mental health professionals, still retained the ability to manipulate the perception of what he had done and what he thought. Objection, Judge. Overruled. Go ahead, Doctor. He still retained the ability to do that, didn't he? I don't see it as a manipulation of, I mean, you can call it manipulation. I don't see it as a manipulation. I see that, you know, something that he mentioned about wounding people, later on, killing people, it was just progression during obtaining information. One of the things that's also absent from your report and your notes is any indication that you followed up with him after in this conversation where you said, what are you talking about, man? You thought you would kill people. You intended to kill people. You don't ever write anything like that in here, correct? I don't write it, but I, I discussed it with him. You of did. course I did, no. as part of the evaluation. Part of the evaluation that up until this moment has been a secret you've kept? Objection, Judge, to a secret that she's kept. This is oh. in her report, it's in her notes, it's been testified to ad nauseum. The speaking objection is overruled. Doctor, you would agree with me that nowhere in your notes about December 19th, 2012, or your report, do you indicate any follow-up with him about that statement, which you said at the time it was made you were skeptical of? Right? Yeah, it did not fit reality of what happened. But you don't put anything in here about following up with him right there and saying, what are you talking about? You I went in there to kill people. I did not put in my report question, answer, question, answer, question, answer. I was paying attention and conveyed the information accurately that he provided. He said, exactly what I said. Was this real? No. We know what he did. We know, and I followed it up later on, and it's that he intended to kill people, as many as possible. Yeah. I'm not a fool. Yeah. 